y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I'm super excited. I just received the Cricut Maker 3. Shout out to Cricut. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm excited to unbox it, get it set up, and show you my first project. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about the Cricut Maker 3, then make sure you stay tuned. Let's go. So this will actually be my fourth different Cricut machine. I had one of the first iterations of the Cricut years and years and years ago where you used cartridges. And then I received the Cricut Explore Air 2 in May of 2020 and the Cricut Maker for Christmas in December 2020. So I'm excited to see the Cricut Maker 3 to see how it's different and what benefits there can be from the new more powerful machine. So I'm just going to take it out of the box and we will work on getting it set up. It looks very similar to the Cricut Maker. Um, the first iteration is the same size. It has some different markings on the outside, but otherwise looks pretty much the same. Setup for any Cricut product is really easy. So they provide you the cords, including the power cord, and then a USB cord that connects your Cricut machine to your computer for the initial setup. This is in order to get your machine registered and to get all set with the Cricut application. Once it's set, then you will be able to use it um, with Bluetooth capabilities, which makes it easy to use your iPad or your phone to create as well. And again, the setup is really easy. It takes you through on the machine how to get it set up. You just have to go to add a new product and click the appropriate product. Now it's connected and it's going to find the machine update all of the firmware that is necessary, and then I'll be able to do a test cut to get started. It does send you materials in the box and will take you through your first project all together like on the machine before you unplug it from your computer. I was excited that it did send some smart vinyl to cut on first. So I have a piece of black smart vinyl right here. You can see no mat. You put it straight in this direction, press load, and it loads your mat or loads your vinyl. Sorry, no mat. The tool is already loaded in the machine, the fine point cutting blade, and then you press the make it button, which looks like the play button, and it will get ready to go. On my first impression seeing it cut for the very first time, it definitely cuts much faster. It was a little bit scary watching the vinyl go through without a mat just because I'm not used to it. After all of these years, I'm used to seeing the mat and it being really steady. Um, it was a little jumpy with the vinyl going through, but it worked great. And I can tell you it was significantly faster than my Cricut Maker, which I had already thought was faster than my Cricut Explore Air 2. So if speed is an issue for you, then that might be something you want to consider. All right, I am getting my, trying to decide where my little crown is gonna live. I think it'll live over here on my laptop. Let me just figure out how I want it positioned. And we will get ready to dive in to my first project with my Cricut Maker 3. I'm excited to take you guys along and show you what I decided to create. All right, let's go. One of the aspects that I am most excited about to work with the Cricut Maker 3 is that you can cut without a mat, which I think is awesome because sometimes mats get gunked up, sometimes they mess up. I just think it'll be fun to be able to cut without a mat. And so the very first thing I want to do is actually customize a planner cover that I have been using for my business planner. So I put together the design that you see on the screen. Um, what it has is my logo right here and then I just went to images and I looked for splatter and you can see there are a ton of different splatter options that you can cut and I uploaded some of them, arranged them in this long pattern and I would like to use this vinyl and cut it out and wrap it around a cover. So let's see how that goes. It is all set um, and we're gonna go to make it. Up here I have chosen my Maker 3. Um, you can choose which uh, machine you are planning on using. So I have my Maker 3. I'm going to click Make It. As it sorts the project into mats, the first thing it asks for me is how I plan to cut my materials. Without the mat, on a mat or in multiple ways. I'm gonna choose without the mat. 
you notice that it says for Cricut Smart Materials only. So if you've been collecting vinyl um, before Smart Materials started coming out, then this one isn't going to work for you. Um, you. But the good thing is you can still use your mat. So don't throw out all of your old vinyl. Definitely still use it, still save it. And then maybe as you're collecting some new vinyl or some new colors, you can start purchasing the Smart Materials that you can use with um, without a mat. So I will press done. That is how I plan to use it. They are all set. So the other thing I can see on here is it tells me the size. So my first piece needs to be cut to 13 by six and a half inches. My second piece right here will be again 13 by 6.75. You can see it won't quite go that far, but it's so that it will all be grouped together. And then we have 13 by 6.25. So it's all set. I'm gonna press continue and I will select my Cricut device. We will connect the Maker 3. Okay, so my Cricut is connected. I am going to be using permanent vinyl, smart vinyl. So I will select that. And then I always like to do more pressure. And I'll go ahead and say remember material settings. So I am doing my first cut. I'm going to trim down all of my pieces so that I know exactly um, how wide they're supposed to be and I don't waste and we will get going. Cricut material measures 13 inches wide. So all I need to do is come here for my first piece. It should be at six and a half. So we will line that up right there and cut that. Now it is ready to go. So all I need to do is turn my machine back to the middle and we are ready to load up the paper, load up the vinyl, making sure it fits underneath these guides, slides right under and loading it up. It should be ready to go. All right, so while my machine is cutting and working with the Smart Vinyl, let's talk a little bit about what makes the Cricut Maker 3 different from other cutting machines. So it cuts over 300 different materials. It is by far the most powerful cutting machine on the market. So I have personally cut leather, I've cut felt, I've cut suede, I've cut wood pieces, including veneer pieces and balsa wood. I have cut some pretty cool things, including chipboard as well. You can do a lot. There are 13 different tools that work within the tool swap system. So what it is, is they have a housing system that can um, allow you to easily swap out different tools. And if you have tools from a previous Cricut Maker from the first version, then they will also work with this Cricut Maker 3. This Cricut Maker 3 is up to two times faster than its predecessor. So that's gonna change depending on the material you're cutting because some of them have a limit as far as the speed that it can go. But I can tell you from firsthand experience, watching this cut the vinyl, it was ridiculously faster than my previous Cricut. It was just so speedy. And whether or not this has anything to do with the fact that it's a new Cricut Maker, I can say it worked with my computer faster. Sometimes my computer had a hard time connecting Bluetooth wise to my previous Cricut Maker, meaning it just took a few minutes for it to connect. And this one connected right away, which I thought was awesome. It is super strong as far as its ability to cut and it works with these new smart materials. I've also heard people ask, what is the point of the smart materials? They do not mind using mats for um, their cutting needs. And I totally get that because I've used mats for as long as I've had a Cricut, so I'm very used to it. However, if you're gonna do larger scale pieces, meaning maybe you're wanting to cut out some wall decals, maybe you're piecing together some poster size pieces, you used to have to literally piece them together. Now you're gonna have like an infinite length that you can work with. There is an attachment, mine is in the mail, that will hold a roll of vinyl. So you can literally attach it to the end of your Cricut, it will hold the whole vinyl roll, and you can cut to your heart's content 
It is so cool. So if you are excited to try some larger scale products um, or projects, then this might be a great cutting machine for you. There's all kinds of smart materials available from cardstock to vinyl to all kinds of stuff. So, and I'm sure Cricut will continue to um, develop new materials. So make sure you keep an eye out to see what materials might be available to work with this awesome new technology. All right, at this point, all of my materials are cut out. I did the weeding, which is taking away the parts of the cut that you do not want anymore. And now I'm just going to use the transfer tape. Now this first piece I'm using is actually a glitter vinyl. So I'm gonna use a strong grip transfer tape. I am using my Cricut scraper to make sure it's attached really well. You pull off the backing and you can see that it has uh, transferred over onto the sticky tape. Once it is all set, there's a few pieces that stick here and there. So I have to go back and kind of press them down, work with that just a little bit, no different than any other material that I've worked with before. Um, pulling that out and then I will pull out my planner cover. I wanted it to be on the lower center-ish area and then to wrap around, which was something I was super excited about, the ability to extend out, wrap this around so that it can get in all the crevices and go front to back because I think that makes for um, kind of a more custom look for your planner when you have that design that continues all the way around it. So again, using my Cricut scraper, my spatula tool here to just press down really hard and then I'm slowly pulling back the strong grip transfer paper. Strong grip can be a little bit trickier so just take your time. It can get a little bit dicey when you have a lot of it in your hands. Um, if some of the vinyl starts to come up you can see I'm just using my tool here to make sure that it is pressed down all the way going back over it and then once it's all the way off I'll just press it down just to make sure it's nice and secure and then I will repeat the same process with my other two colors of vinyl. My next two vinyls are just standard metallic vinyl so I'm able to use your standard transfer tape. If I were to use strong grip on the regular vinyl it probably would stick too much and I wouldn't be able to get it off once it was on there. So again just using my scraper make sure, making sure it's transferred onto the transfer tape pulling off the backing. Now it is on this big sticker piece. Then I am just going to bring it over the top of what is already there, making sure I have it in the position I want it. And I will lay it down and again, use my scraper to make sure it attaches to the page. This was a really fun, really easy actually project to do to customize my planner and to get used to using my Cricut Maker 3. If you are like me and you do not own your own business where you are creating things that people are buying, you can still get so much use out of your Cricut Maker 3. I know it can be really intimidating to give it a try and I've had people reach out to say they haven't even taken their Cricut out of the box. Take it out of the box, start using it, challenge yourself with some fun projects, go and look for inspiration in the Cricut design space. There is a ton of different projects that you can just give a try. And once you've done a few of those, you will really start seeing how you can customize and other projects will come to your mind and your creativity is really going to be unlocked. This was so fun. I love my planner cover and I am happy to show you the end result and give you my final impressions of my Cricut Maker 3. All right, here is my finished product. I absolutely love it. I think it's so fun. I will probably add some more splatters on this because I think that would be a lot of fun to have. I love that it has my logo on it. The ability to customize using Cricut is super special. I love the Cricut Maker 3, definitely faster. The use of smart materials is very cool that you don't need a mat, you don't have to worry about your mats. That is a pretty nice um, plus side to the Cricut Maker 3. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I cannot wait to use my Cricut Maker 3 more to learn more about what this awesome machine can do. If you have any questions for me, please make sure to leave them down below so that I can answer them in a future video.
I have linked all of the supplies that I ended up using down below. Heads up, some of those are affiliate links. Um, just so you know, it doesn't cost you any more, but it does go a long way to supporting this channel. And a huge shout out to my Scrappy YouTube members. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your monthly support. If you are interested in Scrappy YouTube membership and finding out kind of some of the perks that they receive as Scrappy YouTube members, then make sure to click that join button or check the link in the description. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.